Hi everyone, let's begin variance inflation factor. This is a very, very important part of regression where is multicularity is present. So at that time, we should check what is our BIF value. So I had already uploaded this presentation on regression on my YouTube channel. Uh, playlist i have already given you all these things regression and after that let's come directly on this particular part variance inflation factor vif so vif is basically when two or more predictors are highly correlated in a regression model so how much the variance of an estimated regression coefficient is increases if predictors are correlated it would check basically how much regression coefficient is inflated or is increases due to the presence of predictors correlation and predictors means those are your independent variable those are predicting your dependent variable dependent variable depends on independent variable so each predictor have vif value in the analysis and vif value lies in between 1 to 10 then there is moderate multicularity problem in the regression model and if vif value is less than 1 and greater than 10 there is multicularity problem in the regression model so both these situations are alarming and here is if vif is equal to 1 then no multicularity among the factors those are our predictors factors there is no multicularity problem if vif is generated sorry vif is greater than 1 then factors are moderately correlated and if it is closer to 10 then serious issue of multicularity so let me i am going to start in spss how you have to show multicularity issue in spss so this is my one of the file where is the performance there is the number of the firms i have taken total number of the firms it is 50 and performance this is the performance this column and performance depends on size and age size means what is the num it depends on the number of the employees so we have taken into consideration size of the firm and it depends on the how many employees more employees it's a bigger size less employees a uh, smaller size of that firm and age means how old that firm when was the established that firm and uh, now how old that particular firm so i just want to check performance depends on both these independent variable one is size another one is age so what we have to do simply we want to analyze what is rvif value so let me go to the analyze then regression then i'm going to linear and uh, let's say first of all i'm going to reset this our dependent variable is performance so let me shift to the dependent variable and size and uh, size i have to transfer to the independent variable and uh, let me age age is also that is our independent variable so what i have to do simply i will go there statistics and collinearity i will mark this particular box and uh, because we want to check vif we want to check collinearity diagnostics and let me continue this and let me press okay so now we can see these are my outputs age and size right these are my two independent variable let me check this is the vif right so let me copy this i i'm sure uh this would be the bigger size this is the same case study i want to i have taken here as a case study for to check vif so let me print this value collinearity value i have to just paste it here so now you can see as i had written over here tolerance is just inverse to vif variance inflation factor a value of vif higher than 5 or tolerance less than 0.2 indicates the presence of multicularity in social sciences research a vif value as high as 10 as considerable to be acceptable and uh, here is acceptable means uh, it should be below 10 and uh, below 10 and here is uh, if it is below 10 that means there is the problem of multicularity so we have 
to remove this. And uh, here is, you can see here, uh, VIF value in my, this regression case, you can see here oh, for this size, 1.198, right? It's a, if it is near one, I mean, it was one, so that means there is no multicularity problem, but it is up to three, that is acceptable. So 1.198 and for this age also 1.198. So I'm sure I can say VIF in my case, that is acceptable. But when we talk about tolerance, because both are inversely proportional, they are just inverse. And tolerance, I had written here, tolerance less than 0 0.2 indicates the presence of multicollinearity. So I can, you can see here, in my case, uh, tolerance is above points 0 0.2. It is not less than uh, 0 0.2. So in my case, in this regression case, there is no multicularity issue. So I hope this video is helpful to you. And please cross check uh, this thing on your data. Keep watching. Thank you.